Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today we're talking about the Philadelphia Phillies hiring Joe Girardi as their new general manager. This hiring is actually kind of important to a lot of other teams in Major League Baseball as many went without a manager following the end of the regular season. We're going to talk about that right now, actually. There are four teams who are still looking for a manager currently, and those are the Royals, the Mets, the Pirates, and the Giants. The Angels have already hired someone after firing their previous manager, so the Padres and the Cubs. Now the Phillies have filled the GM role with Joe Girardi, former New York Yankees general manager. One of these teams I just mentioned, the New York Mets, had very serious inquiries on Joe Girardi. They were interviewing him, and I think a lot of Mets fans really wanted him to go to the other NY team, and for a little bit of time, I thought he wanted to be there as well. However, the Phillies pulled the trigger. I guess they offered him more money, and his contract is three years with a club option for the 2023 season. He'll be joining Philadelphia as the 55th manager in franchise history. Now, prior to Joe Girardi, now as the general manager, they had Gabe Kapler from 2018 to 2019 and a lot of Phillies fans expressed how much they did not like him. He was very chill, wasn't very demanding and ordering, was kind of like a nice guy about things and if you messed up he wouldn't really mention it, uh, at least from what I heard. In 2018 he finished third with the Philadelphia Phillies in the NL East with an 80-82 record and in 2019 he only improved by one game as the Phillies finished fourth under his control and they finished with an 81-81 and record. That's a 500 win percentage. Again, very iffy leadership, and he brought his team to a 500 win percentage, but not much more. And after the Phillies signed Bryce Harper this offseason, we were really expecting a lot from them and from that team, and just things fell through. So assuming that's why Gabe Kapler got fired, now I'm going to quickly talk about how Joe Girardi and why Joe Girardi is no longer with the New York Yankees. So back in 2017, based off of my memory, um, you know, Girardi was managing the New York Yankees and they had just made it to the postseason. In the ALDS, there were some questionable calls and plays and Joe Girardi didn't really do much about it. And I believe that was against the Cleveland Indians and the Yankees ended up winning that series. But the fact of the matter was that Joe Girardi let some things go under the radar that he shouldn't have and the Yankees didn't like that. There might have been some problems with him in the front office as well, but I don't remember that off the top of my head. Uh, but anyway, long story short, Joe Girardi was no longer with the team. Aaron Boone took over in 2018 and 2019, and he's won back-to-back -back seasons over 100 wins in each. So now prior to this managerial role, he was an MLB Network uh, analyst, and he was going through and calling games. He was in the broadcast booth, which was really cool. I was listening to him a little bit uh, throughout this postseason. And in 10 years within a year at Yankees, he had a career 910-710 record. So that's 200 more wins and losses exactly. He won at least 84 games a year, and there were four seasons where his team won at least 95 games under his control. He led the Yankees to three AL East titles and one World Series championship in 2009. And then he was fired again because of misleading choices and poor decisions in the 2017 postseason. So a little bit more about Joe. He managed the Marlins for one year. I believe that was back in 2006. And he won the NL Manager of the Year with that team going 78-84. and 84. He is the only Major League Baseball manager to win that title, NL Manager of the Year, with a losing record. So that's pretty interesting. I thought I'd share that with you guys. That's pretty cool. Something you don't see a lot. Usually, your manager of the year is someone who has 100 plus wins with his team, brings them to the World Series, or, you know, he really does a lot with a team that was really not expected to be anything spectacular. And Joe Girardi seemed to win it that year, and then he went with the Yankees, and now he will be with the Philadelphia Phillies. He has a great team in his grasp, and I cannot wait to see what he does with the Phillies. And it's going to be a great season. You know, Bryce Harper is there. Uh, you have a couple other really big names on that Philadelphia squad. I think he will manage it well. He'll come in with authority when he needs to. He will keep the guys in line. I think he will make better decisions um, with the lineup that Gabe Kapler would have. And he wants to stay as a manager. He's happy with this new role. He wants to continue doing this. So even if the Phillies don't renew him in 2023, I'm sure he'd want to go somewhere. So I'm assuming he's going to give it his all these next couple of seasons. And, you know, hopefully he stays with the Phillies. If not, he'll find somewhere else. But yeah, this is a big, big move. Um, not just from the Phillies perspective, but for Joe Girardi as well. He was probably one of the best candidates as uh, an open manager and a free manager for any of these teams. And going into this postseason, there were eight teams that needed a manager. 
the Philly scoot of Joe Girardi, and he probably has the most experience out of everyone else as well, and the most successful experience at least. So this is a win, in my personal opinion, on both sides. I think we can bring the Phillies back on track. Will they win the NL East title next year? Probably not. Will they maybe get second or third? There's definitely a chance, especially if they make some really good pickups this offseason. As I just mentioned a couple moments ago, three other teams so far have already picked up new guys to fill in their GM position. If you guys want to hear me talk about that, especially the Cubs hiring a former player that we saw just in action a couple years ago, go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section and I will surely do those videos for you guys and you will see them up on the channel soon. So guys, that's going to end it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.